And for those of you who have not met me before, I'm Ann Gage, the Horse Riding Confidence Coach, and I help anxious horse riders get back in the saddle with confidence and joy. And I'm the author of the book, Confident Rider, Confident Horse, which is available on my website, confidenthorsemanship.com. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you seven easy steps you can do, they don't take very long, that will almost instantly change your mood. So we've all been through a lot in the past year. It's been um, a lot of up and downs for most of us with being in lockdowns, being um, having our, our movements restricted, perhaps knowing someone or um, yourself having dealt with this lovely COVID virus. Um, And, you know, I didn't imagine a year ago that uh, this is where we would be right now. When I first started hearing about it, I thought it would be a few weeks or maybe at most a few months. Um, So we have some good news on the horizon with the vaccines becoming available for those people who are wanting to, to have that. Um, And I'm looking forward to being able to travel again at some point. Um, But I've been having ups and downs as well. You know, we all we all feel that way. So what can you do to when you're feeling low, when you're feeling bad, to bring yourself out of that and feel good? Because what happens, and, and you can apply this to where we are in life right now in our world, or you can apply it to another area of your life. You can apply it to riding. And when we look through uh, at, at our per- perspective of the world, our view of the world is affected by how we're feeling. He's looking through rose-colored glasses. the pink glasses or orange glasses it gives a whole different hue to the world it might make the greens brighter or the sky a different color and that's actually what happens in our brains when we are affected by things outside of our control especially but also other other parts of our lives our beliefs our experiences they all impact how we see the world. So which color glasses are we putting on? Are they clear? If I take my glasses off, then my screen would look different than it does when I'm looking through my my prescription glasses. So I wanted to offer something to you today because I had asked in my group the other day how everyone was doing. And uh, for sure, people are all struggling in different ways at different times for different reasons. So I'm going to take you through this exercise. You can do it with me live right now or do it when you have time and a place to be undisturbed and undistracted and uh, you can just sit or lie down quietly and comfortable. So this is the first step. Find that quiet, comfortable spot where you can just be on your own for a few minutes and just sit down or lie down and start to relax and start taking deep, calm breaths and focus on a comfortable rhythm. Don't force anything, just whatever's comfortable for you. Just inhaling and exhaling comfortably deeply and calmly and just notice each breath and step two is to as you're feeling more relaxed and calm to recall a memory of a time when you were feeling some sort of positive emotion a a positive emotion you would like to be in whether that's happy grateful excited confident loved, energetic, enthusiastic, just pick a positive emotion 
And maybe it was a time when you were having a good time in, with friends and you were just laughing hysterically, uncontrollably. Make it a specific experience or event and one that is filled with that positive emotion, excitement and joy. And whatever memory you, you recall, make sure that it is so powerful that you smile inwardly and outwardly. It actually brings a smile to your face when you think of that time. Step number three is to start focusing on that time now. Just create a detailed picture of it in your mind's eye, just as if you were watching yourself in that moment. And observe it as if you're off to the side, kind of watching a, a picture, or looking at a picture of yourself, or maybe it's a little movie you're seeing. Or you can float up above and be looking down on the whole scene and on yourself. You want to be outside of it, observing it, right? You're observing yourself. And then you're going to bring in as much detail as you can. If there are other people in that event, or maybe there's your horse or some animals in it, include them in that picture you're getting in your mind. And don't worry if you can't get a really clear picture. A lot of people can't. Just get a sense. Get that sensation of that time. And remember what your surroundings were. Just notice those surroundings in your in your mind's eye. Again, don't worry about it being perfect. It's just to get a sense of what it was like for you to be in that experience. Now, step four, you've got that clear picture of that experience in your mind's eye and you're, you're holding on to that, but you're going to add more energy to it and make it even stronger. You're going to add more detail. You're going to notice if there's people in, in that memory, you're going to notice their facial expressions and their body language. Uh, you're going to look at yourself in that event and notice the same things. Notice your facial expression. Are you smiling or laughing? What's your body language? Are you sitting down? Are you standing up? How's your posture? What are you doing? Bring in as much of those details as you can and really soak up that whole experience. Step number five is you're continuing to focus on that picture as you're building it with your eyes closed. And we're going to add even more energy to it now. You can bring in color. You can bring in sounds. You can zoom in like you're looking through a camera lens and make it bigger. Make the people and the images bigger. Zoom in. And step number six is to hold the memory of this specific event clearly in your mind now. Really see what you saw, hear what you heard, and feel what you felt emotionally and physically. Give yourself over to that feeling and to all those feelings until you physically feel them in your body. And once you feel it in your body physically, that's when you've truly connected to that memory. And you're just going to simply sit quietly and enjoy this feeling for a few moments. Really steep yourself in that emotion. Just absorb all that good energy that comes from that good memory that you're bringing into yourself now. And the final step, number seven, is to again just focus on your breath as you take in a few deep, calm breaths in a comfortable rhythm. And then when you're ready, open your eyes and notice how good you feel now. So Whenever you want to feel better emotionally, you can just take yourself back to this memory or pick another memory and recall it. Just use these seven simple steps again. And the more you do it, the faster you can bring yourself into that emotion, that positive state of mind. You can change your mood that quickly. By practicing it regularly, you get into the pattern of being able to close your eyes, Take a few deep breaths, quickly bring that memory into your mind's eye, and be feeling those feelings instantly. So, 
I hope you have found that exercise helpful. If you do it, when you do it, because I certainly hope you do do it, come back. Let me know how it worked out for you. And if you have any questions or need more information, then pop those in the comments if you're watching on replay, and I'll come back and answer them. If you want help with your mindset, this is what I do. This is um, a mindset technique that I work through with my clients to help them stop feeling anxious about riding and build their confidence and get back in the saddle with joy. If that's something you're interested in finding out more, then send me a message um, and I'm happy to have a chat with you about what I offer. So thank you very much for joining me, for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.